Dwayne Wade. This is one of my favorite things where these guys could not stop talking during the break. <laughs> Producer Danny had to get everyone's ear. We're back, we're back, we're back because everybody would cannot stop talking about Dwayne Wade. Start for me, guys. Fizz, you were telling us while we were off the air that that relationship between Miami and Dwayne Wade really started to have some fraying after LeBron left. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. You know, the team had to start looking to go in another direction. They started to look at their roster and say, how can we stay relevant for long term? You know, and, and everything didn't go right. And, and, and that's how it goes in some of these negotiations. But where I'm happy is he's back. Right. And that's where he should have been the whole time in Miami, finishing his career there. He is he is that the franchise's face. Uh, and I'm just happy to see my family back together again, all, you know, where they're going to get back and compete and, and bringing that energy I, to Miami. Well, I, I think we're all up here happy for Dwayne Wade today. Yeah. I mean, we know that, you know, this is the end of his career, but when we see Dwayne Wade, we see him in a Miami Heat uniform. Yeah. It's good to see that, you know, the Heat embraced him back. Uh, you know, they buried the hatchet, and now that, you know, they can start a new relationship, um, he's still, you know, at the end of his career, but I think going post-career, this is a home for Dwayne Wade, and I think we'll see him around for a long time. I mean, you've said you would have maybe liked to go back and had another shot in Toronto, or go back and sort of, you know, to tie that, those up those loose ends mm -hmm. of your career. How much would that have meant to you? Uh, it would have meant a lot to me, especially, uh, for, for, well, for, for D. Wade. I mean, you're talking about a franchise that didn't do anything prior to him getting there in terms of winning a championship. He won a championship there with Shaq, and then, you know, a few years later, LeBron James and Chris Bosh come down there, and they win two more championships, and he was a big part of that. Um, his, his legacy is solidified. I don't care what happens oh, yeah. at this point. It's, it's solidified. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, three-time champion, and we got Ramona coming in, you know, <laughs> breaking up everything <laughs> as if we're not live. We're live, baby. Right we're now. live. <laughs> we Ramona right? came in like a crazy auntie. <laughs> 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 what is going on here? But I just, Pretty soon I, we're I'm just going to bring everyone on set. I don't care if there's seats for them or not. I do want to get to a LeBron Instagram post on Dwayne Wade. I think our producers yeah. have this queued up. Right? Truly happy for my brother Dwayne Wade. It is how it is supposed to be. Love you, my guy. Wade County back. How can you yes, forget that's that? Right. I mean, it's called Dade right. County, not, but man, he's that's Wade that County, Wade County, County boy. Right? No doubt about it. Him and UD back together. Yeah, again. oh my God. <laughs> is UD still around? UD oh, yeah. is still doing it, and if you put my him in a game, guy. he's going to get it done. My that's how you do it. My man my gets guy. it done. Yes. Right? There's no enforcer hey. in, the, in the NBA. And that, if you're in the dark alley. Oh, yeah, you want you. Me and UD. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> My man, you. You will have your back. What do you guys think of the Heat going forward? Because, you know, we talked about how that heartbreak where they made that such a great run at the second half of last season, didn't get in on a tiebreaker at the end of the season, have definitely put themselves in that playoff position this year. What, what do you think, Dwayne Wade, coming back in just their second half? Hopefully he brings some life to him. I mean, mm -hmm. D-Wade still can play, <laughs> regardless of what anybody says. He still can play. Now, he might can't go out there and give you 25, 30 minutes on a consistent night, but you get to the playoffs, this guy will help your team tremendously, and he's going to provide, you know, uh, great leadership, championship, pre championship pedigree to this team. This, this is good for the young guys that are part of this organization. Absolutely. Yeah, I, and I truly think, you know, bringing in a veteran like Dwayne Wade, someone who already knows the culture, knows everything, yep. great relationship with the coach. Uh, this is a win-win situation for both, and I'm even more happy for Dwayne Wade, but the opportunity that he gets to go to the playoff again with the Miami Heat, a lot of excitement for the city. And it's interesting, too, from a coaching perspective, you've been on Eric Spolster's staff. Yeah. Maybe saying to Dwayne Wade when he was there before, before Chicago, before Cleveland, go to the bench, would not have worked. Right. Now, though, he's sort of had this sort of moment on the bench in Cleveland and knew that he could lead that bench mob. Yeah, I think he just wants to get back there and, and blend and just and be a part of the family again and contribute. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out. Obviously, they'll figure that out out there. But I think it's just about him not, like you said, getting back to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if he does come off the bench in Miami when he comes off that bench? Into the game. Wow. Into the, <laughs> oh, my God. The energy. I'm getting goosebumps yeah. thinking about it. Right. Because it's, it would just erupt. And I think he's really going to help them, like you said, in the playoffs. you got a guy now that is a known closer. Yeah. 
get him to the fourth quarter and then mm -hmm. let him do the rest for you. I mean, bringing a guy like Dwayne Wade off the bench. Such a luxury. You're not just bringing off a bench player. You, you're bringing off a quality player, a player Joe with experience, F. and a player that knows how to run a second unit. So I think this is going to be great for the Miami mm -hmm. Heat in terms of the playoff. Expect them to start making some moves.